Excuse me, are you from the Chinese Embassy? Excuse me, are you from the Chinese Embassy? Are you from the Chinese Embassy? No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you sure? We hope everything is fine. We hope everything is got the peaceful treatment. And the young girls, the young boys, we have a beautiful life. Enjoy. You are from the Chinese embassy? No comment. So why... Why, can you tell me, why is the Chinese embassy asking the Greek authorities not to let these people come in? You are, you are cooperating with the Greek authorities here, ask, asking them to prevent this from the happening. It's not your political side. Yeah, but isn't Tibet a holy place for the Tibetans? You, you, your question is not for me. Your question is that please ask the Greek authorities. But Tibet, the, the Tibetan nation, is a holy place it's for those people. You know, and you are, you, are, you are occupying it. Take it off the book and ask my question. You are occupying their it's country. A question. You are occupying their country. <clears throat> I feel sad for you. You feel sorry for me? Well, I represent a country which uh, believes... I'm not a correspondent. It's not a correspondent. You're not a correspondent. I'm not a correspondent. Yeah! The correspondent is not a such question. It's a question. It's a perfectly reasonable question. Why don't you answer it? Why are you occupying their country? Why can they not carry out this demonstration? Tibet is belong to China. What? It's not a... What belongs to China? Tibet. It belongs to the Tibetans, doesn't it? It's a part of China. It's part of Tibet, isn't it? You're occupying their country. You man, you. Stop, stop, stop. Today I'm here as a proud lead of the official Tibet national team called Team Tibet. Some years ago, I used to represent Switzerland as a shop holder at the Olympic Games Youth in Denmark. It was a fantastic feeling to enter the stadium together with all the other athletes. I was proud to represent Switzerland. Nevertheless, deep down, I was dreaming about how wonderful it would be to enter the stadium under the Tibet flag with the Tibet, with the Tibet team. Now, after our attempt to join the games has been denied, I feel more, even more convinced that we Tibetans have a right to be part of it. My eagerness and my motivation to go on training and to work hard for this aim have been strengthened after this disappointment. The Tibetan Freedom Corps, which stands for the values of the Olympic Games, will be one of many other steps into this direction. I will never stop dreaming and believing that we are going to be part of the Games. Not this year, then in 2012 in London. In the name of justice, in the name of justice around the world, I promise that I will support the Tibetan struggle for freedom until the Tibetans can once again determine their own future. I make this pledge with certainty that one day I will see Tibetans at least competing alongside those of hundreds of other nations at the Olympic Games and that China's occupation of Tibet will be have been brought to an end. Hey, <laughs> Je <laughs> 
Where the youth of the world will come together in Beijing in August 2008 to celebrate the magic of sports, we, Tibetans, will be left out. We have been denied to send our team to the Olympics. I have Beijing organizers have opposed and rejected our request. As a member of the National Olympic Committee, Tibet, the Olympic Committee are deeply disappointed and angry. In fact, the officials from the IOC have not even officially answered our application. The appeal is outrageous. Olympic torch, the body of universal values, such as equal rights and fairness. It carries the promise that someday all people will respect their freedom and political orientation and come together, live in peace, and celebrate the diversity of mankind in the true spirit of reconciliation. But today, the reality of the Olympic idea has become different. The IOC has allowed China to Instrumentalized Olympic Games for their own political health. China, supported by the sponsors, spent millions of dollars for their torture day, for a propagandistic display of bad taste and untruthfulness. There are even plans for the torch to violate the sanctity of Tibetan nationhood. We Tibetans have not to disturb Beijing Olympics plan. People in my country are persecuted simply for demanding equal rights for preserving one's own culture, voicing their sorrows about the birthing and living standards. We Tibetans suffer under Chinese rule. There is no Tibetan who feels celebrating in August 2008. We Tibetans have not given in to the hypocrisy and false propaganda. We won't allow that the Olympic torch will be misused to serve the interests of a regime that doesn't charge you. That's why we are here today. It's a shame, it's a shame that we even have a It's a shame, and you chose to be about democracy. The sad reality is about democracy. This is your country. Yes, you understand. Melati, you know, angry cup, you know, it's a shame for It's a shame for the Olympics, and we're here to save the real values of the Olympics. We, the Tibetans, we're here to save the values as equal rights, peace, unity. So we're here. To, to save these values. And it's, it shows the reality here. It's, it saddens us, but it's the, it's the hard reality here that we, that we even can't that we even can't speak here. The next destination of this freedom, Tibetan Freedom Torch will be Italy. Nobody can touch the torch. Nobody can touch the torch. I know. Nobody can touch the torch. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. China out of Tibet! Okay, okay. 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 this is finished now.